I want to introduce and welcome to the stage Steve Humrichhaus, Executive Director of the Forum on Workplace Inclusion. What a great way to start this year's conference. Thank you. It's so great to have all of you with us this year to experience three days of creativity, exploration, and collaboration. Now, I know for you who've been here before, I say this every year, but the proposals we received this year were incredible. There were 228 proposals received for just 96 spaces at the conference, plus our 10 webinars and 24 podcasts throughout the year. That's a lot of proposals to go through. And as you can imagine, the decision making was really rigorous. So to that end, I would like to acknowledge our incredible program committee and thank them that for the hard work they did to review each and every one of those proposals and make recommendations for this year's conference without them. Without their efforts to make the quality program we offered the forum, we just simply wouldn't be able to do what we do. So I'd also like to thank the forum staff for their steadfast adaptability and commitment to making these three days happen despite what are obviously a lot of obstacles this year. They have worked tirelessly to make the event as smooth as possible for all of us, and I'd like to personally thank them for the hard work that they do, not only for the annual conference, but what they do all year long. Absolutely. They have been troopers all the last several weeks. I'd also like to thank our champion level sponsors, KPMG, Target, and US Bank, our visionary level sponsors, Aon and Prudential, InQuest Consulting for sponsoring our closed captioning, and the many others who supported us in bringing the 20 2020, the 32nd annual conference to you this year. And it should go, yes, exactly. It should not go and said that a conference of this scale would not be possible without these sponsors. So indeed, please thank them when you see representatives of their organizations. Now, as Derek said earlier, there are some new things and some changes for this year's conference. And perhaps the biggest change of all is that we have transitioned from purple to maroon. Have you noticed? The Forum on Workplace Inclusion is now officially and proudly housed at Augsburg University. And it is nothing short of amazing to be there. From the mission, vision, and values to the faculty, staff, and students, we are overwhelmingly grateful to be aligned with such a diverse, inclusive, and forward-thinking university and community. And with that, I want to welcome to the stage my new friend and colleague, Paul Pribinow, president of Augsburg University. Good morning. A year ago, I stood on this stage to announce that the forum would move to Augsburg University, and today we celebrate uh, that Augsburg is the new host for the forum, and we could not be more excited about the partnership that we've developed over the past several months. It's particularly meaningful to lift up the many ways in which the work of the forum aligns with Augsburg's mission and values. Over the past decade, Augsburg has become one of the most diverse private colleges in the country. 65% of our entering class this past fall were students of color from diverse communities. And while, our, yes. and while our diversity is a fact, our primary focus now is on our many efforts to build a more inclusive and equitable institution, a commitment we share with all of you. Allow me to highlight that we have eight Augsburg students participating in the Invention Sprint. We, good luck to them. We also have 50 additional students attending the conference, including my son, who is a first-year student at Augsburg, and they all look forward to learning with you. In addition, we have dozens of Augsburg faculty and staff volunteers helping to make your conference experience as positive as possible. And we have student artwork throughout the marketplace as part of the art series. We have an Augsburg booth, just in case you might want to send your children to Augsburg. And I'm honored to present a session immediately after this plenary, during which I will describe Augsburg's equity and inclusion journey. This session is part of a higher education track, which we definitely hope to expand in the years ahead. All of this to say that we are all in with the forum. In some ways, our work together reflects the continuum of workforce development. Where we are educating the next generation of leaders and doing so with a holistic focus on how we educate students to make a living, make a life, and build community. We think those skills are just what your corporations and organizations need, be it the ability to work across differences, to build teams, to strengthen intercultural and interfaith competencies, and so forth.
Equipped to pursue commitments to inclusion and equity, our students will come to your organizations across multiple industries ready to make a difference. That is why this partnership between Augsburg and the Forum makes such good sense. We are in this work together. At Augsburg, we've developed concrete strategies for the work of equity and inclusion. Our governing board has challenged us to explore all of the ways in which we can enhance intercultural competencies among all members of our community. I'm especially proud of our robust equity and inclusion certificate program led by Joanne Reek, our chief inclusion officer, and our nationally recognized Interfaith at Augsburg Institute on Interreligious Living and Learning. Just two examples of the significant work underway to live out our commitments to equity and inclusion for our community. Having the forum on our campus only strengthens that critical work. I'm so proud to once again welcome you to the conference and to be your partner in the work that is at the heart of healthy and just organizations. All good wishes for your conference experience. Let us learn together. Thank you.